slugging her way up over this mountain range towards Cape Town. These pink flowers are heathers. We swing around this bend. There's Eric Casey's. There is a white one. It's the summit of the mountain uh, pass now, and we're looking down on a place called Frenchville, where we're going to be stopping and looking at wines, I understand. It's quite breezy and it's quite hazy, it's about... Uh, it's just gone uh, five past eleven in the morning. Some lovely properties down there. display of Bougainvillea and this convolvulus, the name of which escapes me. Yeah, so pernicious weed, it grows everywhere. At the rickety bridge. What are they then, Tom? The uh, Huguenots from France were allocated <coughs> this piece of land here. Uh, oh, it says 1797 this place was founded. And uh, you can see the French influence. This is uh, Boule in the Vine. And um, there is the... Uh, you can see signs of the uh, Huguenots everywhere in the town. The town looked very nice, but we didn't stop there. These two guys are coopers. There's steel bands on these uh, on these barrels. French oak, and you can see inside they're used more than once. They've been charred before they were filled, and uh, you can see there these are used for red wine. There's a lovely display of Agapanthus and eh? oh, Nile lilies when you come in this winery. And this is what was once the rickety bridge. <laughs> now strengthened to take buses. Rather nice entrance. And over there are the buildings. The rickety bridge. <laughs> <laughs> sits in a bowl surrounded by these mountains and it's absolutely baking hot. Well, we're approaching Cape Town, we've got to tell it's absolutely baking hot. Uh, 
forecast for the rest of the day is very good. Well, we've come to see a diamond polishing in this place. And outside is a showroom which they're full of expensive stuff which they hope we're going to buy. Uh, This is inside Cape Town Cathedral and there's this magnificent stained glass window. It really is outstanding. Beautiful thing. And there's this uh, wonderful rose window here. These are the choir stalls and the organ case. The organ case is enormous. And like most of these places overseas, as indeed in, uh, in Britain, there are the uh, regimental colours and various battles fought in the distant past. Hanging here, falling to bits. There's this quite magnificent tree in the park here. Cape Gardens, There's something about big trees, wonderful things. <laughs> I think it's an Egyptian goose, but I'm not sure. I'll check out when I get home. Well, it is a bunny bird. This is a statue of Cecil John Rhodes. Uh, Rhodesia was named after him when I was in Zimbabwe. In the uh, park in Cape Gardens, Cape Town. This is the uh, main waterfront at Cape Town. And it's I, you can see the Cape Union there. Behind it is Table Mountain. It's just got a wisp of uh, cloud on the top, but it will burn off, I suspect, later. And this is the uh, harbour. It's a Navy celebration, so it's very, very busy. Everywhere is packed. And behind us, there's a huge shopping mall. If you're into shopping, this is where you want to be. 
continuing this Navy Day theme. These are two Royal, sorry, two Royal, these are two South African uh, ships with a uh, flag flying over there. There's a huge crane, and behind them, of course, is Table Mountain. And those of you who may be staying at Table Bay Hotel, this is it behind us. This yellow and blue building. But as you can see, the place is absolutely heaving with people. Queues a mile long to get on these ships. And uh, ditto the submarine over there. to Imizamu Yetu, which is a township. An old jammed in there. This is Hope Bay. Uh, just outside Cape Town on the blue routes. The red bus blue routes were on. Table Mountain. The 12 apostles are going along there. But I think there are more than 12. <laughs> you can see the cable coming away from the uh, top. 